This is a video I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and I am finally doing it today. So, this is my bug out bag, and I got this bag in March of 2013, I guess, um, or no, 2014, uh, for my birthday. I asked for the bag and a lot of the stuff inside of it, and then some of the stuff I bought or just had. So, the bag itself is the Condor Tactical 3-Day Assault Pack in all drab green. Um, on the outside, it has Molly webbing right here and Velcro to put patches. It also has webbing down here on this pouch and webbing on these two side pouches. Right on the front, I have two climbing rated carabiners. Um, and on the back, I have the camelback. I already had this, so I just put the camelback inside this bag. I have this little uh, angle head flashlight, which works pretty well. Got it for 10 bucks. And on the belt, I have the Glock 82 or 81 field knife. I've had this for a little while and I've used it a little bit and I've thrown it a little bit and it's a really sturdy knife. It's definitely good for a bug out bag. There's like nothing that can go wrong with it really. It has a nice padded belt here. Pads, pads, all in here. Nice padded shoulder pads and everything. Everything is really comfortable when you have it all strapped up. It, and it has this little buckle that goes here across your chest, so that's really nice. It keeps the weight even, evenly distributed. Um, the stitching, almost all the stitching on this bag is double stitched, so that's really nice. Uh, let's, I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes, so just right in these side pockets, I have a SOG folding shovel. Um, the pockets do have drain holes too in case they, it gets water on them. In this side pocket, I have a Surefire flashlight. It's pretty good. It needs new batteries, so I need to put new batteries in it. And some duct tape, just because I don't know what else to put in this pocket. In this pocket, I call it my, um, or no, I don't call it this pocket that. I just have a camouflage bandana because there's a lot of uses for it. This pocket I call my immediate access pocket because this is things I might need to get at in a hurry or use the most often. So first of all I have a brand new Gatorade bottle with a life straw in it which is a personal water filter. And I haven't used this, but the reviews seem really good on it, so... And I'm just going to keep that in there, because to reduce space and everything, it stays nice and compact. Then I have just, like, loose straps of 550 paracord. Uh, this little Petzl E Plus Light, it's like an emergency headlamp, and it fits inside here. I'm probably going to do a review on this, it's a really neat little light. Um, these are mag pouches, so if you have a rifle, you can put mags in there, but I don't have one yet. Um, I have a little dry box with a notepad, and I can put ammo or whatever else I want to put in there. Two glow sticks, a pen. In this pocket, I have some granola bars, just like quick energy. Two green rain ponchos in this book, which is the... Hugh McManor's Complete Wilderness Training Manual, and this is the Boy Scouts of America Training Manual, and it's actually really good. It's probably my favorite book, and it has a lot of pictures, so I, was, I would definitely recommend that. It's a good book. Oh, um, down here I also have some binoculars, which are useful. Put all this back in here. The zipper pulls are not paracord, unfortunately, so that's kind of a bummer, but not really too big of a deal. This one 
just to see how easy it was. I actually replaced this one with black paracord and it was really easy. So if that's like a big downside, you can easily just pop off these little um, zipper pull things like with a knife and put paracord in there, which is really handy. Um, down in this pocket here, I have a... pair of socks and a first aid kit right here with a toothbrush and some other hygiene stuff. But yeah, a pretty complete first aid kit that I put together myself. Has like razor blades, paracord, and some other stuff. In these pockets I just have matches, little magnesium fire steel, and more matches. All of those are pretty useful. And I was planning to go on like a outdoor adventure type thing this summer and take this camping, but I haven't gotten to do that yet. In the main pocket, there is a lot of stuff, but it's not full. This bag is like pretty much, I'd say two thirds full. I could probably fit a lot more stuff in here if I needed to, so that's definitely good. Alright, so right with this stuff, we I have, um, there's these nice straps that keep everything in place. I have a 100% wool blanket, which is really nice. Three um, Eversafe meal kit MREs, and behind that I have an 8x10 camouflage tarp to keep rain off and I can make shelter or whatever. In this bottom pocket, I have... 100 feet paracord and a GPS with batteries. This is a uh, nautical GPS, so it just bases off of straight lines pretty much. Um, so that's really good for walking in the woods or whatever, or if you're a field instead of like a car. It's going to guide you just in a straight direction, not like on roads or something. And then another 100 feet of paracord. So I have 200 feet of paracord completely unused. In this pocket I have a mess kit which is a really uh, standard mess kit except I have steel wool and a alcohol, little alcohol tin can stove which I made and this is just to clean it. So that goes back on there. A little fishing kit tin and a Coleman fork, knife, spoon, and can opener set. The fork, once the fork and the spoon are opened, the whole thing comes apart, and so you can use the fork and knife just like you would. That's pretty cool. And that's it for the main pocket. And then back here, there's also a spot for your water pouch or whatever. So I have a camelback pouch in there that I had previously. And that's pretty much it. I did have like a tomahawk or a machete on that, but that's not really necessary and it weighs it down. The weight right now is about 27, I think it's like 27 and a half pounds or something. Um, yeah, so it, it's definitely a good idea to get a bag like this. It's really useful just for camping as well. I haven't been camping yet, but I really want to go. So maybe I'll do a video sometime and go camping for a weekend or something when I have nothing to do. It's getting cold out, so it's not really too good of an idea, but people camp in pretty cold weather, so I don't it's not really much of an excuse. So, yeah, um if you want a review on any of the things in this bag, please leave a comment. I'd really appreciate it. And I can review anything in the bag uh, that you would like. Or I could go more into depth of something. Maybe try out an MRE or something like that. And do like a camping video or something. I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of fun stuff that I can do with this. So please leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.